Good afternoon. I'd like to talk today about how you establish credit. There are three ways that uh, well, we usually talk about, two that are recommended and one that I'm not a big fan of, but we'll talk about all three. Uh, so to establish credit, first off, you have to be at least 18 years old. If you're not 18, you can't enter into a legal contract and therefore we can't lend to you. So you start by being 18. After that, you really need to have some type of income because you need income to pay for whatever it is you're going to use, uh, use the credit for. The first way we recommend to establish credit is the secured credit card. This means that you assemble all your savings, uh, checks from grandma for uh, the holidays and birthdays, odd jobs and whatever, get about $500 together and put it into a savings account and then we issue a credit card against the uh, balance in that account. We give you our best rate because we've got 100% uh, security collateral in the form of your savings account. And then as long as you use that card appropriately, uh, pay it off every month, uh, use the income that you have to pay off any uh, balances charged to it, you will establish a really good credit score. If you don't make those payments, then we are going to tap into the deposit account to make the payments for you, but the problem is, is that the limit on your card will come down with each payment because we reduce the balance on that, on that account. As with any other credit card, the best thing is to pay it off in full every month so you don't accrue any interest charges and you will very quickly establish a very good credit rating. Then down the road, you can apply for an unsecured card where you don't have the savings account tied to it and then you'll have your $500 free to use for your own and you'll have the best rate on a thousand dollar limit credit card so that's a really good way of doing things the other way that uh, I recommend to establish credit is to go to your local gas station almost every one of them whether it be Wesco or Easy Mart or Speedway or Admiral or whatever has a uh, gas credit card application either inside at the, uh, at the uh, counter or right there next to the pump. Complete one of those. As long as you're 18 years old, they pretty much will approve it. The interest rates are terrible on those, but you're never going to pay interest on those because you're going to pay it off in full every month. So you get your card issued. You pay, you come up, you fill up your gas, you put your card in, you pay for the gas, and then almost before you even get home, you send money from your account via your web teller or whatever to that credit card company and pay it off right away. If you didn't have the credit card, you would have had to pay your own cash for the gas, so you should have the money in any event. And you do that for a few months, and next thing you know, you'll have a very good credit score. So that's the other way that we recommend doing it is with a gas card. You never want to carry a balance in that because, again, as I said, the interest rate on those is terrible. The way that we don't recommend doing that, but a lot of people use, is uh, co-sign with a, a parent, grandparent, or some other interested person. And the reason I don't recommend that is it can get really ugly around the Thanksgiving dinner table if little Johnny or little Susie isn't making their payments and all of a sudden the mashed potatoes are being passed and mom or dad have a bad credit score because they co-signed for little Johnny or little Susie and they're not making the payments on their car loan or whatever the case may be. So if you can't apply for and earn the credit yourself, what I say is do what you need to do so that you do qualify yourself. That might mean saving up a little more money. That might mean getting a better job. That might mean asking for less in terms of credit. Uh, some people will go ahead and do the cosign, and that's their business. It's just not something I recommend. Thanks for listening, and we'll come back at you next time with another topic.